Have you ever set a goal for yourself only to find that when you look back months or years later, you fail to achieve it? Goal setting is one of the most important ways to take charge in your life and move forward. But it can be intimidating. Yes, don't let that stop you. Here, I'm going to show you my seven-step formula to setting goals. So if you are new, my name is Ibrahim Mustafa. And in today's session, I just want to take my time to take you through how to set goals that sell, how to sell, uh, set goals that can help you in your life, in your career, and whatever you do. So stay tuned and let's go straight to how to set goals. You can also reach out to me via my WhatsApp and email. Just check my pages and you will get to reach out to me. If you are monitoring from YouTube, if you are monitoring from Instagram, if you are monitoring from TikTok or Facebook, just say hi, put in hi in the comment section so that I will know that you are actually following. My name once again is Ibrahim Mustafa. Let's go straight to some of the things that you can do to set goals for yourself and for your future, your career, whatever it is. And I'm going to show you the seven step formula to set goals. So... <clears throat> The first question I want to ask is, why goal setting? Why do you want to set goals for yourself? Why do you want to set goals for your career? Why do you need to set goals? And let me let you appreciate that. Yes, goal setting is important because if you are going to Tamale from Accra, you need to know that you are going to Tamale. And if you put it down that you are going to Tamale, definitely, you will get there because you keep trying and keep trying because your mind is telling you that I'm going to Tamale. If you want to achieve success in life and you don't know what type of success you need to achieve, nothing will happen for you. And that is why goal setting is important. You need a destination and you need to move towards that destination. You've been working hard, you've been planning, you've been doing a lot in the past years and nothing has happened. Why? Because you didn't set goals. You just wake up and you go 30, uh, 30, 31st, midnight, start making noise, revolution, New Year's resolution, New Year, whatever, my time will come. No, those are not goals. If you set goals properly, you will never even attempt to, to do anything new when it comes to 31st December. And let's go, and you need to have a reason to set goals. Goal setting will take you from where you are to where you want to get to. If you want to distribute maybe 1,000 laptops to individuals, to students, to people that you believe in, and you don't write them down, what happens? You just feel like you can remember them in your mind? No, it's never going to be possible. And that is why you need to set goals. So number one is know why you want to set goals. And number two is you need to dream big. There are a lot of you who don't dream big. You don't even believe that something good can happen to you. You don't even believe that you can make it in life. No, you need to dream big. So the that's the first step to setting goals. Because if I should set a goal to, do, to get a first degree now, no, that is not a goal. If I should set a goal to say that I want to work at a Ghana Revenue Authority, no, that's not a big goal. It's just like a daily activity because that's not big enough. You need to set goals that will tell people that, yes, you are dreaming big. You need to set goals that will let people appreciate a yes and you yourself feel happy because once you achieve those goals, things and great things will happen. So dream big. Maybe you want to uh, start a business. Maybe you want to start an airline. Maybe you want to even start a football team. Or you want to become a president of a country. Whatever you want to be. You want to buy different type of cars. You want to travel around the world. You want to meet with presidents. You want to meet and do business with like great uh, people like Elon Musk. You want to meet Oprah Winfrey. All these things should be incorporated into your goals. You need to dream big. You want to go to space. Write it down. You don't pay to write those things down. You don't pay to start setting goals. You need to start setting goals now. You want to go to Mecca. You want to do whatever. You want to go to US. You want to like meet celebrities. You need to dream big. You need to come out of your comfort zone. You need to think big. Dream big about who you are. Dream big will help you ship, uh, streamline and help you work hard. Because your goals, if you are working hard and your dreams are big, you are definitely going to work hard 
to making sure that you achieve those dreams. So the second thing you need to do about setting goals is to dream big. You need to dream big. And dreaming big simply means that you need to think, sit down, meditate, talk through, see the things that you want to do, all the places you want to visit, like Think about great things. You want to start an airline. You want to start a TV station. I didn't know that it's easy to start a TV station until we started one in Tamale, NTV. So you can do more by dreaming big. Just dream big because you don't need to have the money to start dreaming big. You need to dream big to be able to reach there. It's just like uh, you want a mango tree. You want to plant a mango tree. You don't need to put a lot of uh, seeds in. You just need one seed. To be able to what uh, give you a mango tree and out of that you can be able to get a lot of fruits so all you need to do is to dream big use your mind think about it. think about things that you want to achieve think about things that you want to do think about your community think about all the things you want to achieve in life and dream big i cannot emphasize the power of dreaming big if you don't dream big then why do you even set goals the purpose of goal setting is to help you dream big, whether in your career, whether in your relationship, whatever you want to do, you need to dream big. Number three is you need to write down your goals. Writing down your goals will help you remember them. It will help you keep in check. Because look at this. Goals that you set for yourself five years ago, you can't even remember some of them because you didn't write them down. So I want to urge you, that you should write your goals down. I'm going to take you through steps that will help you write and uh, formulate your goals. Make sure that you get the right goals that you need to be able to make things work. So the sec first step is to write them down. Write your goals down. Write your goals down. You need to write your goals down. Right. Write them down. You may use a jota. You may use your phone. You may use a notepad. You may even use... Like use something that you can remember. You write them down. So we're talking about different type of goals. So I'm going to elaborate more on different type of goals because this is dear to me. There are types of goals that you need to be able to set for yourself to make things work. Goals that will help you. Goals that maybe we talk about one relationship goals. Think about it. You want to have a family. You want to have like a spouse. You want to have children. All this, you should factor them into your goals. The type of person you even need, you should put them into your goals. Maybe uh, we talk about career. So the career goals will help you establish the type of career you want to. So where is your career leading towards? In five years' time, what do you want to achieve? How do you want to achieve that in terms of your career? When it comes to maybe your school education, things that you need to invest in yourself, in your mind, you need to list all of them down. You need to list all of them down to towards your career. We also talk about your financial goals. So finances, how much do you want in your bank accounts? You need to put all these things down. Uh, by the year 2025, by the year 2026, by the year 2030, how much do you want in your bank accounts? What do you want? What type of financial assets do you want to have? When they check your bank uh, accounts, and you can do this in different categories. Sometimes you can put them in yearly. You can also put your goals in terms of one, maybe not yearly, but you can say birthday. At the age of uh, 20, 30, what do you want to achieve? At the age of 35, what do you want to achieve? At the age of uh, like 60 years, what do you want to achieve? And uh, most of my listeners are from Ghana. And you will know that uh, despite uh, the Canada, Japan, and all the people that you see, they have goals in terms of that. 60th birthday, I want to buy this. 55th birthday, I want to buy this. So you can put them into clusters. Maybe as you grow, uh, your birthday, 60th birthday, this is what I want to achieve. Uh, 70th birthday, this is what I want to achieve. So you need to have goals for your finances in terms of money and stuff. You can also have traveling goals. Most of us don't travel. We just sit down. One place, you are in one location, you are only in Accra or Tamale. You don't even know Bolga. You don't even know Kumasi. There's, Togo is near. You don't even know where Togo is. right? So you need to set goals for your traveling. 
You need to set goals to travel, travel to different places, see places, meet with people, connect with people. If there's a place called Dubai, I want to see it. If it is nice, I want to see it. So set goals to see there. Most of you want to go to Dubai, want to travel to different places, but you don't have goals to reach out, to reach there. So you can write. Every year, you can do one international uh, country or two international countries, three or four. Just put it down. This year, 2026, uh, 2022, 2023, I'm going to see Togo. You may not have the money to do uh, Dubai, but write it down. I want to go to Togo. I want to see Burkina Faso. I want to see Ivory Coast. I want to see Dubai. I want to see Kenya. I'll put all this into your list. Put all the number of countries you want to travel to. The number of cities you want to see, tourist sites and all those places. Once you put them down, it gives your mind a reflection about what you want to achieve in terms of your travel goals. So if you've never seen, and you can start small of your traveling goals. Maybe you've never seen Kumasi, but you are in Accra. Get a day, travel to Kumasi, roam, see that place. Maybe it could be one day. And the secret is, if you are in Accra, you can get a car to Kumasi and get back the same day. If you want to even stay, get a, just 200 cities, 300 cities can get you a one-day hotel for you to just go in lodging, st seeing those places. Roam in town, go back to your hotel. Next day, you get back to the, your destination. If it is Dubai, do you even know that uh, 6,000, 6, 7,000 cities can send you to Dubai for a week? Yes. You can go to Dubai like for 7000 it can pay for your hotel it can pay for your for your maybe a, your accommodation in terms of hotel you can pay for your internal transport for 7000 cities but most of you, you don't know you're just jealous about people going to Dubai and feel like they have a lot of money no you can also just plan and go plan 7000 and you go and see that place and the beauty is if you go to those places you, you go around, you see businesses, you connect with people, you create opportunities, and it gives your mind a sense of belonging. Don't only think that it's only rich people who go there. Some of you feel like, oh, I don't have money. It's only rich people who go there. I'm paying, like, no, 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 please. You also go there to activate your mind, to see different businesses, different opportunities, different, like, if it is a buyer market, when you go to uh, the... Uh, 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 subcam market in Dubai, you see different buyers. You can also get a contact, two or three, come back home, get that money and start ordering. If it is like things in China, travel. If you want to go, just go and see how things work there. If it is in US, plan and go, plan, plan. If it is in Europe, you can make it possible. So your traveling goals should like, you should have great places to see for your site, even in Ghana, you can go to Moli Park, you can go to Aqua Safari, plan. In a year, you said, I'm going to go to two or three different places. Go there, see those places, and also fill your mind. You are not just here in this world to follow. No, 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 no. You are also here to take part. So the more you create opportunities in terms of that, the more the universe opens doors for you. So also have traveling goals in your bucket list. The next type of goal I want to talk about is business goals, business and investment goals. You need to invest in yourself. You need to have goals to like do businesses. You need to have goals that every year you need to add a business to your life or your investment. You can invest in real estate. You can do business in terms of buying products from China. I do that. You can do business in terms of creating opportunities for others. You can do, like, there are different businesses that you want to do. But then all you just need to do is write all of them down. Okay, maybe 20, uh, 20 23, I'm going to do this business. I'm going, like, and this is one of my business plans. 2023, I'm going to go into hotel business in Tamale. I'm going to Tamale, I'm going to invest in hotel business. And once it works, 2023, by 2025, I should have, like, in three different count, uh, cities, my hotel, branch of hotels, or uh, we call it chain of hotels. In Tamale, I should start next year, right? I'm already working on the land, but I've written it down. So you, do, you can also have businesses and ideas that you want to invest in. So in this type of writing, no one will pay 
for writing. No, you don't pay for writing your goals down. Most of you, you just even go to school, you complete, and you want to figure it out. We, I also did that. Went to Kane University, went to uh, finish my first degree, and now I'm figuring out what am I going to do with my life. But I didn't write anything down. I just feel like things will happen. So you wake up, you sleep, you wake up. No, you need to set goals for all those things. And uh, also your investment. If you have investment goals, you will not invest in Ponzi schemes. You will not invest in like criminal deals. Like, uh, excuse me to say, like men's gold was a Ponzi scheme. People who didn't have investment goals had money somewhere. They didn't know what to do with their money. So they just started pumping money into men's gold because you don't have investment goals. Your mind is telling you that, let me just put something small and make a lot of money. And if you, your life is like that, a lot of people will take advantage of you. A lot of people will take advantage of you and they will steal your money. So you need to have goals for everything that you do your investment, and you need to, like, different type of goals. Also, things to do and things to buy. You need to also have goals for your luxury. Luxury. So if you are here, and uh, my name is Brian Mustafa, I'm doing the TikTok, you see that I'm doing public speaking practice on YouTube, it is how to set goals. On Facebook, it is how to set goals. On Instagram, how to set goals. You... If you are here, just type in yes, and uh, if you can also share this, it will help me reach out to more people. We need to support ourselves as Ghanaians, as Africans, as people who believe that we can make an impact. But I'm sharing freely how to set your goals. You can set goals to do luxury, buy luxury things. Don't think that luxury things are only a, pre uh, like a requirement for rich people. You can set goals to buy the type of cars you want to buy. In 2025, you don't have it now. That is fine. Set a goal in 2025. I want to buy the latest V8. In 2025, I want to buy the best uh, in terms of Range Rover. Put it down. Write it down. So that when you go to church, you have a reason to tell God that I want to buy a Range Rover in 2025. You can tell God, once you write it down, whenever you are going to church and they say pray, you are reading your book. Oh, my name is Ibrahim Mustafa, 2025. Oh, God, I want to buy a Range Rover. I want to buy V8. I want to write them down. Don't worry about your financial background. Don't worry about where your parents are or how your parents are poor. Just write it down. Because I've seen people who are not even up to you, but because they've been able to write their goals down, it gives them that morale to work hard. So they keep working hard, they keep showing up, they keep calling people, they start businesses because they've written the businesses down. Whether they fail or not, they are going to start it. So you need to also look at that level. The type of houses you need to buy, you need to write them down. You need sometimes, writing is not okay. You need to even draw. You can see, I have a lot. When you check through, uh, if you are on uh, TikTok, you can see better, but on Facebook, you may not be able to see well. But when you look at my background, I have things I want to do. You can do these things. It's possible for you. Write them down. First is write them down and keep showing up. Keep reading it. I have my goals, all my goals, and every day I read them. Not every day, excuse me. Monthly, I read them. When I started it in 2016, I used to read my goals every day. And among my goals are cars I want to buy for my friends, type of houses I want to build, type of countries I want to travel to, different places. And in my goals, I have written down that I want to travel to 100 different countries. I want to appear in CNN, BBC, different interviews. I want to meet some personalities in Ghana and abroad. I want to meet different people. I want to travel around the world. I want to organize shows. I want to do a lot. And I can tell you for till now, I've been able to reach out to 12 different countries. I've traveled to 12 different countries, excluding African countries. I've gone to Paris. I've gone to uh, Las France. I've gone to do, uh, UAE. I've gone to China. I've gone to Switzerland. I've gone to uh, Amsterdam, that's in Netherlands, different countries. And I cannot say all the countries I've traveled to, I use my money. No. No. These are people... Uh, programs I've applied to, 
uh, opportunities I've gotten from the double, uh, I'm a global shaper. So you should check global shapers up if you are uh, below the age of like uh, 35, 33 rather. You should check uh, global shapers up. So, and that is what I do. I have set goals for different things I want to do. I've set goals for like that number of countries I want to travel to. And one or two reasons, these things keep happening. And I'll pick my goals and I see that, oh, I've traveled to this place, now cancel it. I've traveled to this place, I've canceled it. And, but then I have goals. So you can also have your financial goals, career goals, write them down. It's not only one thing. Don't write one thing. Write all the things that you want to do on different levels of your life. Write everything down. Then number four, uh, we talk about how to set goals. My name is Ibrahim Mustafa. And I just talked about the number one, why you need to set goals. Why go self goal setting? Number two, I talked about why you need to dream big. Because most of you don't dream big. You are scared to dream big. You look at your bank accounts and you are scared. No, I dream big. Times I go to, uh, if I'm in Accra, I go to Spintex where they sell V8s, Lexus, I go to the rooms and I check the cars out. If I see people selling Range Rovers, I go there and I check them out. I ask of the prices. I sit in the car. I have that feeling because I know no matter what, one day I'm going to buy those cars. So I sit in different places. I go to meet different people. And you need to dream big. Number three, I talked about how you, why you should write your goals down. You need to write your goals down. And uh, you need to reach out and make sure that your goals are possible. There are four different type of goals. Where I talked about maybe your uh, career goals, relationship goals, traveling goals, business and investment goals, uh, things you want to buy, and everything that you need to make your life possible. So let's go to number five, which is you need to set lifetime goals. You need to set lifetime goals. It's important for you to set lifetime goals. Life is a journey. You are the university. You are your own school. So you need to set goals that will let you reach the next milestone. And some of my mentors, they have goals that this at the age of this, I want to die at the age of this. You can set goals for that. Your health, type of health, you need to set goals for your health. You need to, because you need to have he healthy life. So your entire life, there are things that you need to stop eating. There are things that you need to continue eating. Exercising is going to be part of whatever you do. So you need to set goals in terms of that. Lifetime goals. Because if you don't have lifetime goals, and that's why, and I'll talk about this, this later, people get scared because they set yearly goals and the goals don't materialize and they start beating themselves up. They, they are scared. They are the old lady. feel dejected. No. You need to have lifetime goals because life is life is a lifetime. I'm telling you, life is what? Lifetime. It's a long process. Even though some people's life are being cut short, but then set it. Make sure you set it. And don't fall into like this year, next. No. Make sure you set lifetime goals. Number six, you need to take action. It's not enough to say, I will have goals. You need to take action. If you don't take action, you will never make things work. The only important thing that will make your life work is when you take action. Start it now. Write things down. Go, dress up. Go to places that perhaps you feel like you may not necessarily enter. Take action. Start that business. If you are going to do TikTok, don't say tomorrow, tomorrow, next, tomorrow, next, uh, next year. No. If you want to start building a house, start asking about possible places you can get the right plots. Start that business. Start questioning people, where can I get investment opportunities? Where can I get money to start my business? Where can I get funding? What should I do? What should I invest in me? If you want to learn something like piano, if you want to learn French, start learning them now. Take action now. Sometimes we are weak, we are scared, we are afraid. And we don't know what to do. So we feel like, okay, I'm not good enough. I'm not better. I'm not great. I can't do it now. Uh, I'm, I'm poor. No, 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 no. Please don't take all these things into consideration. Go out there. Start it now. Yes, 
the pe people may be uh, going through a lot of tough time. Some people may be going through stress. Some people may be going through different things, but bad things. But there are some people in your same community who are achieving whatever they want to achieve. In your next, in your community, I can tell you there's someone who will buy a new ha new car this month. Not just a car, a luxury car. There's someone who will build a house this month. There's someone in your community, in your city, or your village, who is traveling out of Ghana today, or this month, or this year. So when you put your energy into something, you will be able to what? Achieve them. So take action. We are all on Instagram. We are all on Facebook. We are on TikTok. You are listening to me on maybe Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, or TikTok. It simply means you have international audience. You have s people who you can partner with. So look for those partnerships. Take action. Start uploading content. Brand yourself. Go and do good photo, photo shoots. And also let people know that you belong here. Set your brand. And then number seven is uh, I'm talking about how to set goals. My name is Ibrahim Mustafa. I'm a public speaking coach. I train individuals, coaches. I train uh, CEOs. I train ministers. I train members of parliament to speak in public. I even train doctors, lawyers, different people to speak in public. Let's get in touch. You can get my contact on the first uh, beginning of this. And let's get in touch. The last thing I want to talk about is, the last thing I want to talk about is if you are here, if you have questions, just put them. The last thing I want to talk about is go hard. Just go hard, but take it easy. Go hard, but take it easy. Do things hard. The hard way, go hard, but take it easy. I want you to know, if you are listening to me, we are not all the same. There are some people, when they give birth to them, they already have an upper hand. Because they were, maybe some people were born in U.S., some people may, were born in Dubai. Some people were born in Europe. Some people were born with like a, a silver spoon. Some people were born in people places that there's money. Their family had money. They had uh, they, even in their mother's womb they started having inheritance. But some of us we need to go the hard way. We need to just get out, close our ears, and know that there's nothing at home. Home no good. So we need to keep pushing until we make it. Some of us, that's the type of story we have. All what we do is all what we achieve. We go out and achieve our own things. There's nothing at home. There's no inheritance. There's nothing investable. There's not even family home where you can call your home to stay. There's no place for you to stay. Nothing. So we need to, we are fighting from scratch. So if you are in this realm, I'm just saying that we will get there. If you are in this we need to go hard. Stop playing. And uh, there's a saying that all play, uh, all work and no play makes a jack, a jack a, do, a dull boy. We are fighting against poverty. So we don't need to, we don't have time to play. Because the type of poverty that we have gone through and we are here now, it's not easy. So we need to go hard. We need to go hard and go hard. Show up. Respect people. Take action. Be humble. And know what you want. But go hard. Go hard. Speak confident. Speak with confidence. Go out and, and, and speak out opportunities to yourself. Go to places you've never been. Go read books that you've never uh, gotten the chance to what? Read. Go to seminars and go hard. Show up. Waste, don't waste time watching unnecessary things on TV. No. Go hard on yourself. But if you are not... Getting the results now, take it easy. Take it easy. Because yes, you may go hard, but the results are not showing immediately. Then you give up. No. Go hard, but take it easy. If you don't reach out some of the goals, it's okay. Take it easy. Create new opportunities. Look at the next chapter. Go out. Create new opportunities. Write new goals. And make things work for you. Because all I can tell you is that you can make things work and you can make things possible. My name once again is Brian Mustafa. If you are listening, uh, we talk about how to set goals and I share the seven steps to share, to set goals for you and to make things work. First, we talk about why goal setting. Second, dream big. And uh, third, you need to write your goals down. Fourth, we talk about different type of goals that you need to have. 
Number five is you need to set lifetime goals. Lifetime goals is important. Number seven, six is take action. And number seven is go hard, but take it easy. I have like over 147 goals that I plan to set. So you need to set your goals and set stand standards for you. I believe in you. And if you are listening, if you are watching, monitoring uh, from YouTube, if you are monitoring from TikTok, from Instagram, from whatever, Facebook, just put in yes and let me know where you are commenting from. Just put Facebook, put Instagram and share this to reach out to more people. I hope and I believe this may help somebody. Let's do this more and let's create more opportunities. No matter where you are, I'm telling you it's possible. It's always possible to live the life you want to live. Let's go hard, but let's take it easy. Let's create opportunities and let's make the best of whatever you want to make. I believe in you and I believe in the power of your dreams. Let's go hard. Let's keep going hard. No matter what, we can do it.